Hey food lovers, if you're looking to drop 30 pounds or if you want to say goodbye to 20% body fat, then you need to eat like Shelly. Welcome everyone to Neri's Kitchen. Today's guest is a belly burn coach, has helped dozens of people drop some serious pounds and this year has switched over to veganism. Shelly Salk's Carpiac will be showing us what she typically eats in a day and how she stays within the macros of 39% carbs, 25% fats and 34% proteins. She'll be showing us something different this time, which is a vegan meal plan consisting of vegan plant-based shake, an oatmeal, apple and raisins breakfast, a cool summer cucumber and tomato toss with tempeh strips in almond sauce and a Kung Pao cauliflower. Everyone, please welcome Shelly Socks Karpiak. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for having me again. Well, thanks for coming around the second time. <laughs> yes. So it wasn't that bad. It was, no, it was great. I learned so much. <laughs> okay. So we're the first thing that I have every morning is uh, my protein shake. Okay. And uh, I've tried this one just recently, and I actually really, really like it. I don't find that much of a difference uh, from the uh, other shakes that I've tried. So that's good because a lot of your protein comes from the shake. So oh, really? like it's 30 grams of pro. It's like per 60, 60 grams I have in a day from protein shakes. Okay. And uh, I'm eating about 90 to 100 uh, grams of protein. So, oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, you rely a lot on, on this. But there's there's definitely ways to get more. But mm -hmm. if you want to have a lot of the other foods, then... Mm -hmm. um, this will supplement it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Okay. So, what I do is I uh, have my shaker. Oh, I just put it over here. I have my shaker. And I don't like a lot of water. Or I, I use water. I don't like a lot of uh, liquid in my sh in my uh, protein so you, shakes. So you like it nice and thick? Well, okay, <laughs> thicker, I'll show you. Thicker. So if I have been doing, actually, a uh, scoop and a half. And then I've got my ball in here already. So then all I do is I, I, I watch and uh, I'm just going to fill it up to till the ball disappears. And then I kind of just look at it and I'm just <laughs> like, okay, I think I want to add a little, I'm going to add a little bit more. So I just added, I don't know, it might be about three quarters of a cup. Okay. And then uh, I just get a couple ice cubes. Yeah. And they're just in the fridge. Oh, they're just in the fridge. Oh, no. I'm so I used to, <laughs> sorry. This way. I'm so used to just... Uh, Opening the door? Yes. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, one. That's probably good. Okay. Yeah. So three and a half ice cubes. Yeah. <laughs> you know you what? Get. I like I, I like my food cold or hot. Yeah. Not, uh, I don't like kind of in between. Okay. So all I honestly is just shake it up. And that's it. And that's your breakfast? So that's my first meal of the first day. First meal of the day. Yeah, because I usually uh, fast until noon. Oh, wow, okay. So that would be my 12 o'clock uh, first meal of the day. Got it. So then how long are you fasting for today? Uh, it's about 14, 16. 14, mostly 16, 16. So yeah. then you stop eating around 8 p.m.? Uh, yes. Okay. 8, 8 to 8. 8 and to then, 12. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be the first meal. And... Um, when I enter this stuff into all the food items into my fitness pal, I usually, I get away from, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. And I try and, uh, the, the individuals that have been with me, I try and talk to them about getting out of that attitude of okay. having breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. Because your brain will play tricks on you. So at lunch, I'm not having lunch. I'm mm -hmm. actually having breakfast. my breakfast. Right. But I don't call it breakfast. I call it meal one. Got it. So this, but I, I this is my shake. Okay. That's so first the very meal. first thing I have. First thing in your body. So today I would have, um, or sorry, I'm doing yesterday's menu actually. So yesterday, my very first meal, um, after, and I would actually have it pretty much the same time that I have the shake. Like I don't, I don't space it out. Okay. Um, so the first one would be the, uh, it's an oatmeal with apple and raisins. So I just take, uh, so this would be just, a, uh, do we want to do two or one serving? Let's just do one. Okay. So it's just going to be one cup of oatmeal. Cup of oatmeal. 
Yeah, in a in a bowl. In a bowl. And, yeah, just a bowl that you're going to eat right out of. Okay. And then uh, two cups of, of boiling hot water. Two cups of boiling water. Yeah. Okay. And it's just going to go right into the. So let's get my two cups ready. I See, sometimes I ha like uh, at home I have a water cooler that has hot water. Oh. So I just use that. I would just use that. If but you don't have that, you, you can boil you it. You just boil it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so the next thing we're going to, while we're waiting for that, is we're going to cut up the apple. And we're just going to use half of that apple. How do you cut it up? In um, cubes? I cut it in half, and then I just cut it in bite, like just how you would want to eat it in a in a porridge. Okay, skin. I call it no porridge. Skin. I don't know if people call it porridge. I don't know if that's porridge? a Ukrainian thing or. I haven't heard the word porridge in a long time. Yeah. Uh, that's a porridge, yeah. That's what I would like. My this first, porridge. my that's not what porridge, I would. No. That's no. what I would call it first is porridge. Oh really? Oh, right. No, that's not porridge. I've had porridge before. What it's, is porridge? Porridge is like uh, some. It's more porridge. grainy, I think. Right? Yeah. It's it's grainy, and you could see it. This is oats, oatmeal. Okay, skin or no skin in your oatmeal? I'm fine with. I like the skin. Actually. Oh, you like skin? Okay. Yeah. I'm a. I just. Yeah, you know what? Skin good. adds actually lots of fiber, mm -hmm. and it actually helps scrape your intestines. Your intestines. So you have a complete <laughs> poop. <laughs> there you go. I was thinking, how can you say this so it's not disgusting? But it's true. You yeah. know, the skin poop always comes up. <laughs> if you have a great poop, then you know you're yeah. healthy, right? Yeah. Okay. So I would just throw that in. Oh. Yeah, throw it in just like yeah, that. Yeah, just right in there. All right. And then the same thing, we're going to add um, an ounce of raisins. So it's, Ooh, I it's, love that. it's about 60 raisins, but um, if you're, you know, like I roughly scale. know what it is, but um, yeah, I, otherwise if I was making it, I would definitely use the scale for all the items that I, that I make. You said an ounce of an raisins? An ounce, yeah. Okay. Because we're meal planning we need to be exact right and you need to know what exactly you're putting in your body so we'll measure an ounce yep or 60 raisins as Shelly had said <laughs> and then how much cinnamon I'm just gonna put a teaspoon a teaspoon That's I like more but a uh, teaspoon is five grams I think so I just put uh... oh is my water boiling there we go there we go okay so okay. then once that's is that good? That's good, yeah. That's good. Oh, okay, I was going to add more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I know that teaspoons of five grams. <laughs> okay. And then the uh, water, two cups of water is just going to go into there. And then... Oh, let's do it this way. There you go, Jerome. Thank you. We're just going to... All of it in? Yep. And this is one serving? Ooh, yes. Wow. And this is what you typically have? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> That's big. <laughs> Well, you have to, that's like your breakfast, mm -hmm. right? It's just that I've had the shake prior, but, Got and it. it'll, okay. it'll go down right, as well. Right, right. So we'll, we can just let that sit. Okay. And, right. uh, first meal of the day. so that is, yep. First meal. First so meal. So yummy. So yummy. Okay. Oats with apples and raisins and you don't sweeten it at all? Or is it already sweet? I did bring just in case some people do, I have started using the coconut sugar. Oh, and you have to try it. Okay. Uh, you can try it on it because honestly, you will not even know when it's on there. Okay. So, I've never tried it um, before. I've always just yeah, used it's stevia. Very, it's very, I, I really, really, really like it. So that you can, on w once we've stirred it up, I wouldn't, I like it on top. Mm -hmm. So I would uh, stir it up and then add a teaspoon or I think it's uh, one teaspoon, yeah. Okay. And there's your one teaspoon is five grams. Yeah. See, like I said, <laughs> I use my scale so often that I know a teaspoon so is five grams. So that meal is roughly around 287 calories um, and 69 carbs. So it's very high in carbs, but it's 16 grams of fiber. Oh, wow. See, like, okay, that'll yeah. help you with, you yeah. know, if you're a little bit. That's bad. one <laughs> thing. My fiber, if I, on my fitness pal, my fiber is never, never ever below 25 yeah it's probably 27 to 30 oh wow yeah and two grams of fat okay and uh, six grams of protein 
So a variation, you could add protein to it instead of doing the shake. Mm -hmm. I like my shake. Mm -hmm. It just, uh, it, I think it just gets your tummy ready for mm -hmm. food rather than just boom, food after 16 hours. How you break your fast is just as important as fasting itself, yeah. right? Like if you're fasting for 16 hours or longer, you don't want to feed your body with something so heavy like yeah. a burger and fries. That's, you know. And prior to eating this way, I always had a harder time with uh, oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I just felt that it just stuck to me. And it was like, I, uh, when I started looking at losing weight and, and body fat, I wasn't going anywhere. Right. So I think just some of the changes that I've made with all the other foods, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not having that issue anymore. Okay. So, so yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Uh, our next meal is one of my absolute favorites. It's a cool summer cucumber and tomato toss. So we just need a bowl. Okay, big bowl. And uh, we're gonna cut the cucumbers and tomatoes and put it in a bowl. So we're if we're just gonna do one serving, then you could probably, I have been known to eat mine just out of a big bowl, but okay. yeah. Um, okay, so we are going to cut the cucumber. And we're gonna do about 70 grams. 70 grams of a cucumber? Of cucumber, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna measure it then. Yep, 70 grams. It's probably a third, I think. But with vegetables, you don't really have to weigh it. But let's just check. Oh, yeah, so 90. We'll just do 90 grams. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Just a and cucumber. And then uh, the same thing with the tomatoes. I like getting the color, the uh, variation of color tomatoes. It just... You know, let's do let's do a serving for two. Let's double okay. it. So then, yeah, we're gonna it's, it's do the vegetables. 140. 140. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is my 100. I'm pretty sure this is 90 plus 70 is 150. There you go. Not too bad. Okay. So and do then I just this is this? not, and then 90 grams of the tomatoes as soon as we're done that. And then same thing, just cut it basically the same as the uh, uh, apples. Apple? So, yeah. so I cut it in, what I usually do is cut it in half. Okay. And then I would cut it in half again. Oh, okay. And so, then, yeah. Got it. Now for those that don't have a scale, so then this would be about two thirds. I think it's about a, on, uh, about a quarter, a quarter of a, of a eight inch cucumber. Got it. And then how many tomatoes? Uh, the tomatoes we're doing about 90 grams. We're doing about 180, yeah, 185 is fine. How many tomatoes is that roughly? Uh, well, it was, it's very interesting because this recipe that I got was off of, uh, so I just usually do this. Okay. And then I cut them and throw them in. <laughs> just in half? Yeah. Oh, I like these tomatoes. Yeah, um, use a different knife. So what I was uh, going to say is this recipe that I got is from my fitness pal. Or sorry, not my fitness pal. It's eat this much. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find cherry tomatoes. When I put tomatoes, it just comes up as big tomatoes. When I put in cherry tomatoes, it kept giving me cherries. I just type in um, grape tomatoes. So I, I just... Uh, when they say uh, three inch diameter of a tomato, so probably a medium sized tomato, just uh, a half of it. Okay, so well, it says a large, a half of a large hole, but okay. So the next thing we're going to do is pour in the olive oil and the balsamic vinegar. So there's the olive oil. How much olive oil now? So olive oil adds fat right away yes. right like it's and it's a lot of the recipes call for like a tablespoon i usually never do what it asks i always do cut it in half so this is asking for half a tablespoon so i would put a quarter of a tablespoon myself okay. but if we want to make it uh the way the recipe says it would be uh a um or sorry three-eighths of a teaspoon so it would actually ask for a tablespoon. Okay, so because if we're doubling it, it's a it. tablespoon. So let's do a tablespoon then. Yeah. 
I think that's 15 grams. Is 1.7 grams for three. Okay, you know, I'll, instead of using my scale, <laughs> let's just do it the easy way. Mm -hmm. I have my tablespoon. So put in uh, 1.5 tablespoons? Yes. Okay. So that's my one. And then the balsamic vinegar, we're going to put one. One and a half. Okay. I love balsamic mm -hmm. vinegar. It's so good. It's pretty much just okay. vinegar that's been reduced, right? Uh, and what else? Okay, now we have uh, salt and pepper to taste. Okay. And then the next. So Shelly, mm -hmm. what kind of benefits have you noticed with becoming a vegan now? Hmm. Any physical benefits? Well, I feel that um, my body fat has gone down a lot faster than, say, just really trying to do it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like my muscles are showing more. Really? But, but not more so i would say it's more of a toning and the muscles are showing mm -hmm. rather than uh popping muscles okay if that makes sense well like I think I because you say that you feel like you've already dropped body fat and you know mm -hmm. when you drop body fat you do see your muscles show more yeah. right because it's underneath that layer of fat yeah I, that, that's probably uh for me that what i would notice is that it shows more. Well, you look great, Shelly. Then I, I, I feel good, but I've done other things as well, right? Mm -hmm. Like I've added more sleep. I've like with the belly burn challenge, I've done uh, more things myself, right? Okay. So it's hard to pinpoint just one thing, right? But it, uh, it definitely, um, you're eating more vegetables. Mm -hmm. So you're not eating as much fat right off the bat. So, so you probably feel less, I guess, inflamed, right? I'm never, I never feel full. You never feel full? Like okay. I always am at like, okay, I never feel over full. Overstuffed. Yeah. You feel satiated, I but feel not like per bloated. Like I'm just always, I'll eat a meal and I just feel perfect. Yeah. Who wants to feel perfect? I, <laughs> mean, right? I would love to feel perfect. Perfect. Because you don't want to feel overstuffed <laughs> right okay i'm gonna borrow your knife for a sure. second and i'm gonna i believe this so we're gonna put some tofu in here just to add so i just cut about a hundred this is just about a hundred uh, grams mm -hmm. and then i'm just going to cut it into into like nice little cubes shelly say hi to dale willems Oh, hi, Dale. And Dolores LeBlanc is and online. Dolores. Hey, guys. She just had her 1,000th Yes, workout. congratulations, Dolores. I saw that. That's yes. amazing. So then I would just add this. Dolores looks fantastic, uh -huh. by the way. Have you seen her? Dolores, yeah. I worked out with her for the 1,000th oh, workout. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah. So then I would just make sure that it's... When we were able to work out. Yes, when we were able to work out, for sure. I think that was one of the last one of the last classes gym sessions that yeah. we had prior to the restrictions. Yeah. I believe so. Okay, so I'm just I, I'm breaking it up just so that it's not all clumpy and it's gonna uh, absorb the balsamic vinegar. Got it. And there. So we can stir that up. This? Mm-hmm. We're gonna stir it to try and get some of that balsamic vinegar into the tofu and then I'm just going to add uh, this is just dried basil obviously the fresh would be a lot more uh, it would be stronger right uh, and this is just about a quarter of a teaspoon into there and as well I'm just going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, the Italian seasoning okay quarter teaspoon yes. of this and a quarter of that. Quarter of that. Perfect. And that's that. And you would, that could go into the fridge. Oh, it has to sit for a bit? 
Um, it's it's better if it's chilled. Okay, so let's so, chill it. Yep. So that would be uh, the second item that I would eat. <laughs> I don't have one in my fridge. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was gonna show that, but not scary. Hey, <laughs> my fridge. No, I always have room. It's, just, it's not organized. Have you seen Jen Manter's fridge? Their fridge is like perfect yes, all the time. Yes, mine. Mine is just a hodgepodge of food. I know, right? Mine too. I feel like I need two fridges. <laughs> yeah. So with that, I would also eat, it's just going to be, it's not a meal, it's going to be like a snack, like that goes with that. Got it, okay. Yeah. Um, and that I would probably eat about three o'clock, like I'd try and eat Second it meal? before I would work before out. Before work out? Yeah. Uh, so the next thing is um, tempeh. So tofu and tempeh are basically the same. There's so, their soybean. Um, one with the tofu, it's soy milk, and the tempeh is actually still the, the uh, soybean. So the tofu is more for absorbing all the flavors of the sauces and the liquids. So stir fries are really, uh, tofu is really common in stir fries, whereas tempeh would not be as common in a stir fry. It's not to say you can't do it, but uh, it's just more you would do this because of all the, the sauce. Right, right. So with uh, the tempeh, we are just going to we, we take half of the package and we're just going to slice it into uh, how many? Um, it just says, I usually, like you don't want them too thin because otherwise they'll be too hard when we're going to do them in the um, air fryer. So I've never uh, seen this before. So if you look at it, you can actually see, yeah, you can see the, the bean. The soy bean, yeah. And it's fermented, which also helps with your gut health as well. Is this with good? No. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would maybe do it just a little bit thicker. Thicker yeah. with this? Yeah. Okay. Because we just we don't want it to be rock hard. Yeah, that's probably perfect. Yeah. And then air fryer. So yeah, we're gonna get the air fryer ready. Let's do that. In my pampered chef air fryer. <laughs> Do you have one at home? No, Shelley? I don't. The, my kids want one, but uh, I don't. I I just I I know there's so many great things that you can do with it. I actually have another recipe with tempeh that when it's uh, they end up like a boneless chicken piece. Okay. With uh, buffalo chicken sauce. On the out on the outside, so it's it it ends up that it's like a boneless chicken wing, is what it is. I have and to try it. And when you when you uh, bite into it, it's it's very very good. Have you seen? Okay, Jerome, have, look at the breakfast. It's just puffed up. Yeah. This is huge. Oh my so goodness. So now you could, if you wanted to try it, you could put your teaspoon. You could mix it all up now. Okay. And the thing I like is the is the apples are warm and the uh, the raisins are warm is it a teaspoon of sugar let's uh, measure it let's not yeah. go crazy <laughs> so i would mix it up oh you mix it up first yeah okay yeah mix it all up look at that guys i'll be eating that later did you know that cin cinnamon is actually mm -hmm. a fat burner as well um so i actually make sure to have lots and lots of cinnamon in my food I and actually, i think it's pretty much nothing uh, it does have calories. Actually. It does have calories. Yeah. But um, I but think it's only like five or so. I like depends I how much you put. Yeah. I would say like for me, ten to fifteen calories. Okay. I still enter into my fitness pal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And now you're gonna put the coconut sugar. It says one teaspoon, so we will do one teaspoon. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's the second guys. Okay, there we go. And it's a it's it's very weird because if you look at it, mm -hmm. it looks like it's a it looks like it's really hard. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you put your spoon in, it just it's Rumble. soft, soft. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> How's it? It tastes very comforting. <laughs> it's like heaven, heaven in a bowl. You know, it's the raisins. Yes. I really like the raisins. I love the there. raisins too. It just puffs up, right? Yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah. That's that's uh, one of my favorites like in the yeah. Yeah. 
So you could add your protein in there and then you've done, but like I said, I do the protein because of the time that I've waited. So if somebody is not fasting or they can just eat that, right? Say hi to Cheryl. She's online. Cheryl, Cheryl Bojo. Oh, Cheryl, she's probably had my oatmeal. <laughs> Cheryl, have you had Shelly's oatmeal? Comment below, let us know. Have you seen her photos? Yes, yes, I, I know. I'm quite impressed at how good she yes. looks. Yes, oh every, every, everyone looks great. I have to say that the belly burn challenge is one of my favorite out of the four year, four and a half, four years that mm -hmm. I've been with the Fit Club. Okay. That's my favorite. I like it because yeah. it's it's only four weeks. Yeah. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going on. It doesn't feel like it's dragging. You're getting support from your coaches. And, yes. You know, it's a, it's a smaller group, so you're mm -hmm. speaking to your group every day, checking on each other. I love and it. And I love food, so yes. I love that I can share all the food that I've tried. And yes. I have a binder, actually. I have this binder. It's seriously this thick. Oh, yeah? Full of, <laughs> full of recipes, yeah. Okay, so what's next? So the next is once this is, so this has got... Uh, I put 10 minutes. Okay. So it says eight minutes in the oven and then you turn it over. So however, be for another five. Up. Okay, so now we're going to combine the almond butter. Okay. So we've got almond butter, uh, four teaspoons. Four teaspoons of almond butter. Yep. Okay. So this is the dipping sauce. Okay. So we got four teaspoons and four teaspoons of rice vinegar. Oh, four teaspoons. I was thinking tablespoons. Four teaspoons, yeah. Okay. Good thing you said it twice. Teaspoon. Four teaspoons. One, two. And if you don't have almond butter, you can always use natural peanut butter. Right, Shelly? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, so four, and then four of this. Yes. Now, myself, I always find once you put too much vinegar in, mm -hmm. you can't take it back. There's no way to get rid of it if you find it too strong. So don't so, put too much then. So I would try three. Oh, three. And we'll just leave it. Yeah. And the same I find with soy sauce as well. I okay. find it very salty, the soy sauce. Right. So because I don't, I add zero salt. Oh, okay. To, I. This is not I, a lot though. I would rather cook without salt and add what I want. Got it. So that's how, that's my theory on the salt part. And I understand if you are working out intensely um, that you do need some salt. So I think you can kind of gauge that your own personal uh, you know, with your body. Has their preference. Or, Some yeah. people like their foods. Like I like it salted. Durham right. knows I like it salted. But it's funny when I cook, Durham's like, no, no, too much salt, too much salt. I'm yeah. like, I don't think it's too much salt. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it really depends on the person. So with uh, the tempeh, we have a cup of broccoli. Okay. I'm just going to turn the tempeh over. I heard my five minute mark beep. Just turn it, turn it over. Has a little bit of color already. Then we'll wait another five minutes. So a cup of broccoli? Yes. And so I would normally just, when I do my broccoli, mm -hmm. I put it on a sheet pan okay. with tin foil and just put it under the broiler for a bit. Oh, okay. Do you want to do that then? We could do that, yeah. Okay. That's the best way to have it, to keep all the nutrients. Because when you microwave it, you're going to have water in it. And if you boil it, you're going to have water in it. So you're going to lose some of the nutrients in the uh, broccoli. Got it. I always microwave mine. Yeah. I just cut this much. I don't know if that's a Yeah, cut. and we're going to just do this. Oh, yep. okay. We're going to just take the... Yep. Just the florets. Yep. You don't and eat then, this part? Um, well, normally I don't buy it like like that. Or, so usually I buy it at Costco and it's already... Oh, the bag. It's already all ready, right? Got it. And then we're just going to do some bite-sized pieces. Sure. I think we should... I need... 
more broccoli. A couple more. Okay. And so how long in the oven for? Um, oh, well, under the broiler, it's not going to take long. Just a couple minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm just going to do this. And then the garlic, uh, the olive oil, I'm just going to do just like that. And just a little bit of salt and pepper, and then that's good. Salt and pepper. And we'll just watch it under the broiler. So Shelly, would you ever go back to eating meat again? Well, it's funny you say that because I did after the, the last, the first belly burn for this year, I wasn't doing it 100%. I was probably doing it about 75. Mm -hmm. And when I felt like I wanted something, I would just eat it. So at the end of that belly burn challenge, I kind of reflected on like, what was I doing? Where was I at? Um, how did I feel? Uh, and I just thought, I'm this time I'm doing it a hundred percent. So uh, I just thought I didn't I liked the way that I felt. Got I it. liked what I saw the changes in my my body. I liked uh, what about your energy levels? Did you have more energy? I did, but I also changed my sleep as well. Okay. So I can't pinpoint um, you know there's they say you have more energy. Your gut health is better. My visceral has definitely gone from, uh, it was six and went to uh, five in like two months. Oh, wow. So, and that's it, the hardest went, to lose, the visceral fat, it did, the fat around your organs. Yeah, it did drop a lot faster than um, just, like basically you, you go to the scale every day, the old, like, before mm -hmm. I would go to the scale every day and be like, not today, not oh, today. No. And uh, I just, yeah, it was fast. But you know what is also good for visceral fat? The fasting. Yes. When, uh, when RJ and I used to fast a lot, like we were actually in Thailand, so we didn't have access to a gym or anything, but we, we were always fasting and then we would work out. Yeah. And I dropped my visceral fat just like yeah. that. I couldn't believe how fast. I w actually went down as low as a three. Yeah. The visceral fat. Wow. Was crazy. Not anymore. Like I had kids after that, but that's how low it went just yeah. from fasting. I actually had worked out with a lady before and uh, before the gym, and um, information that was shared was that some women's abdomens are shaped certain ways, and it's Is this good? A, yeah. Okay. A lot of times it's impossible to change your abs. It's impossible to change your abs. Like. Um, if you if you look at a man's abdomen, they have like a washboard, right? Oh yes. But for women, that's very hard to get that. To get washboard Depending. Abs, you have to be very strict on your diet. Everything has to be exact to a T. And I think the your muscles are could po like are possibly formed different as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. This is now, oh, we had one more thing we had to add to the, uh, we had to add the soy sauce to this Okay, so sauce. soy sauce. Yeah, and that's again, it asks for, uh, we're doing, we did four. We're going to add just two teaspoons because I'm, yeah. Yeah, we can always add more later. Yes, if you, if that's the thing, what, but if you add too much, you can't, take it you can't it's, it, it's very hard to get uh, rid of that that strongness of it. Okay. What about a broccoli? Is that good? Uh, it's probably going to take a look. So this would be along with that salad as well. Yeah, that looks that's good. good. Okay, so we'll turn this off. This and that's down. a choice how you like it. If you like it, uh, one of my pet peeves is mushy broccoli. Okay. I can't eat mushy broccoli. Yeah. yeah. Once it's brown, that's over. Reheated broccoli and me, we don't get along. <laughs> so what does the tempeh go with? You're gonna dip that, and then the broccoli is just like a side, oh, this like is a snack? yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's your that's that's basically my second meal, right? Second meal. Okay. Yeah. Like it goes with the. You're gonna have all. You're gonna have a cup of this. Okay. 
and and half of this because we did for two, right? Got it. And then the uh, and then a serving. So you could take your plate and put the salad with the broccoli and that. Oh, okay. So this is a serving for two people. Yes. So yeah. you and Jerome and Shelly. Yeah. And then we will get. And then you have your sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna. So then you have your sauce, and where's that? I'll put it here. Look at that. And then your salad. When you eat colorful foods, you just feel so happy. Eating after. from the rainbow. Yes. Make sure you get all that sauce too. Like you actually feel good eating it. Okay. So the tempeh and the sauce is around 300 calories. And uh, 18 carbs and 26 grams of protein. In that? Yes. That's crazy. And 18 grams of fat. And, and that's mostly from this, right? Oh, from the sauce. Yes, because the tempeh just by itself is 220 calories but 24 grams of... So that's where your majority of your um, protein is from. Okay, wait, let's try this. Do you want to try this? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, try it. Just take a little piece. Yes. Just a snack. Oh, I like that. Yeah, pretty good. Nice. It tastes like um, <laughs> tastes like a soybean cake. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it's, what it's, it is. It, it's they're just they're so it's so uh, condensed. Condensed, it's so yeah. In. Yeah. No, I like it. So you could you could probably see that if you had like a chicken wing sauce on it, that you're gonna your brain is gonna play tricks with you, and you're gonna think that you're eating chicken wing just because of the sauce that's on it. Got it. Okay. There we go. Look at that. So this is your meal two. So that would be the end. This is meal two, right there. Meal two. Yeah. So it'd be half of that, half of that, and half of that would be one meal. So this is a meal for two people. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Okay, so my last meal is one of my absolute favorites, and I've made it for others, and uh, they love it too. Um, you really can't tell that it's got no chicken in it, okay. honestly. Okay, that's a strong statement. So, no so we'll see if uh, how you feel about it. Okay, so we're going to preheat the oven to 250. We can use that same pan that we had the broccoli on. Okay. And we're going to put, uh, um, okay, we are, that's for six servings. We are going to put, one, we're just going to, we're going to do, we're going to do this. We are going to take this mm -hmm. and we're going to cut it up. So we want about 19, it says 1,900 grams. I find that I weigh everything now. I weigh everything too. And I've, instead of doing like a cup of this, a cup of that, I find that I just do the weighing of it. You know, I'm going to get you to cut the shelly. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm supposed to cut this. <laughs> okay, so I always just cut this guy off. I cut this. Do you eat that? Some people actually no, eat it. I don't. Like this part here, the green part? No, I don't. My mom actually eats that. Well, I guess it would be like bok choy or yeah. something, yeah. really, right? Yeah, Okay. Well, just like the broccoli, right, yeah. the broccoli stem, I actually eat that too. Mm. <laughs> I don't like it, but I'll, I'll eat it here and there in a stir fry. Yeah, I don't mind it. It's just I find sometimes, like, our our fruits and vegetables aren't, ex especially with COVID, they're, I find that they don't last very long. They're not as fresh. You notice a difference? Oh, yeah. Strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Don't last as long? They don't last as long at all. At all, yeah, it's like one that one thing? day, one like honestly, within a couple of days the strawberries are. This is giving me a Aww, hard time. Betty froze is online. Oh hi, hi Betty. I just talked to her the Would other you? day. Dina's online. Hi She's Dina. Two beauties. Oh. Dina, you're yeah. Also. Hello. 
She's also part of the belly burn challenge. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a really big one. I don't know where I got this one. So, um, actually, I think I got it at No Frills no frill. by the gym. By the gym? Yeah, I find uh, they have a lot of uh, tempeh, I believe, um, was hard to find. No frills. So... Okay. I was actually at Superstore today, and I was trying to beat the rush. Mm -hmm. So I got there maybe just at 9 o'clock or so. There was a lineup oh. with our 10% capacity oh. or 100 people. Yes. Online. Like, it's crazy. It so is. I waited in line for about, you know, let's say 15 minutes. Not that bad, but it's like 15 minutes on a Sunday mm -hmm. at 9-ish. Do you have, we can use that bowl there. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's got stuff in the stove. Okay. Um, we just need a bowl to weigh out the nine, uh, we want about 800, I believe it's 800, uh, grams. Okay, we'll weigh everything. Oh, out. sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, okay, there we go. So this recipe is from a lady that I started following in Vancouver, who, uh, has a, a lot of recipes on her blog. Chewing. Oh. <laughs> I'm snacking while Shelly is doing it. And I was like, oh my gosh, they can hear me chewing. <laughs> it's broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> Let me swallow this first. Yeah. Her uh, her recipes are all vegan. And I'm finding that most of the ingredients of her recipes are all most household items that you would have. You wouldn't have to go to the store to buy fancy, uh, fancy, fancy ingredients. Items. Yeah, even looking at this, Oops. I mean, I have most of these ingredients mm -hmm. other than the tofu and the tempeh. But if you're a vegan, you're going to have that at home. Oh, yeah, it would be a staple. I think I have like three Good always. Packages, yeah. Always. Are your children Every, vegans as well? Or no. no? Um, my son, uh, actually, it's a funny story because the girls just know. They're like, oh, yeah, that's probably vegan. So I started making things and not telling them. Mm -hmm. So I have a really good recipe for vegan waffles. Vegan waffles? Yeah, which really, it's like, all it is is that you use an ingredient that makes it not vegan or that makes it vegan, right? So it's not that much of a difference, but they, they, as soon as they hear that, they're like, no, I'm not having that. So it's um, like replacing the egg with like a flax egg. A flax right? egg, yeah. Um, and then uh, all the ingredients is, are the toppings. Like I've, Ooh. I've bought. Uh, oh my gosh, there's a oh. little worm. Nice. That's, Sorry, that's no. extra protein. Ah. Extra protein. <laughs> <laughs> I got all distracted and you had really bad eyesight and I wear contacts and I see a little green. Well, it's a good thing you saw that. <laughs> it just would have been extra protein. Good thing we didn't use that for the Good thing you were cutting yes. the cauliflower. <laughs> so they, uh, yeah, they kind of just are like, nope, I'm good. So they'll make their own thing. Uh, but Sheridan's actually in the belly burn challenge right now, so she's watching what she's eating. Mm -hmm. So my uh, other daughter is just eats her own thing. Uh, but I think um, I think my youngest daughter would probably um, do it you at have some three point. Daughters or two? I have two daughters and a, a son. son. Okay. So my son, I made, uh, which is another one of my absolute favorite recipes, is a Greek salad. And you take the tofu and you marinate it and, it, and you can't tell that it, when you look at it, you can't tell that it's uh, oh, not, tofu. it's not cheese, right? not cheese. So my right. son came in and he saw the salad on the, on the counter and he just reached in and grabbed one of the cheeses thinking it was feta. And uh, he didn't know at first. Mm -hmm. So. But did it, did it taste like tofu? Oh, or did it, it tastes like feta? It's, if you buy the extra firm. It's very hard to tell. Other than it's not as salty, right? Got it. It's right. way salt. The, you can always just add some salt to it. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it was, you can't tell. Okay, we are going to just do, see, it tells. This is your last meal that you would typically This have. is. This would be like your dinner. Yeah. But I would eat this sometimes. 
um, I wouldn't, because I don't eat till noon, I can eat a little bit later, right? Right. So, so and yeah, are, it's about one. Do you one. always fast, Shelly? Yeah, it's just... About 16 hours? I remember when I first started, and Ar I was talking to RJ about it, and RJ told me that once you, because I, I had never done it before, I had, I had heard lots about it, um, but I'd never done it before. And so then I just, same thing as with eating uh, vegan, I just tried it, just jumped right in and tried it. And uh, I remember RJ telling me, once you eat that way, you'll never go back. Like, it, it just becomes a way of life. Well, what I've noticed with fasting is that you wake up and you feel lighter, you feel flatter, you feel actually healthier. Yeah. And then initially, you'll have, you know, you'll have the hunger that you, hunger pangs that come and go, yes. but it goes, right? You get used to it. You'll feel um, maybe a little bit grumpy, a little bit, let's say, bitchy, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But it's just a habit. It's a habit of eating. But once you It get is. Past that, once you get past that. Once like, you get past it, you feel so good. You can keep on fasting longer and longer, and the benefits of fasting are so great. It's they are. For, There's so many. It's good for depression, and mm -hmm. the longer that you fast, that's when autophagy occurs, mm -hmm. when uh, I guess your body gets rid of all the, the dead, dead cells. Dead cells and your body regenerates. Yes. So a lot of health benefits are fasting. And there is even uh, patients with cancer. Yes, that, yes. Uh, can, I've heard about that too. Can have remarkable... Okay, this is a lot of cauliflower. Are we using the whole thing? We or? are. Oh, We're okay. going to use... I'll use this one and then... Ah, uh, we'll be good. Can I dump this on the pan then? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, we're putting, yes, we're putting it in the pan in the oven. Okay, so I'll put it on the pan. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just use this one and that'll be good. This, so basically the cauliflower, when you're eating it, it's going to be, that's what's going to mimic your meat. Are we still using the scale then? Or we're okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to, I figure that this will be good. And now we just need, uh, so this is good. I'm just going to break this up. All right. And then. How's it, Jerome? Pretty good. Oh, no, you're you're snacking on great tomatoes. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> and I'm, I'm just going to do the tomatoes. Yeah. Try sauce. that sauce. Mmm. Very good. <laughs> I think we need Jerome on the show. Mm. Seriously, you know, I can take, I can do camera DVDs, Jerome, or we could just have it still. No. No. <laughs> so, look at this guy's awesome. <laughs> so I'm just gonna thin slice this, I think. So I'm gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna. You know, and that's the thing with the you can do you can cut it up. Try the recipe once, how they say it. I I very seldom. Do once I do a recipe once, I very seldom do it exactly how oh they say to do you, it. Who has time to be exact yeah. all the time, right? So cutting up the vegetables, I cut it up how I how I want like how I want it. That's why I always um, talking about Betty and her uh, cinnamon buns. Her and Rachel, and they make these cinnamon buns and. I can't do that. I, I because you have to be so exact with everything. Baking, you really do have to be exact so to the tea. baking is not my uh, my thing. I I much prefer. See, I would love this. to bake. I would love to spend the time baking yeah. and buying all these baking supplies. The only thing is that if I bake, I'm gonna eat it because I love. That's what so happens much. at my house. My oh, right, your daughter. Sheridan got Sheridan, the, uh, the generate, generate cookbook. cookbook for Sheridan. <laughs> come to the and, yes, come oh. Sheridan, message me. <laughs> <laughs> the her baking and cake decorating. Um, she's just been working at it really, really hard. Good. One of the uh, ones that she made that was so yummy was the. Uh, it's a French pastry. Um, I forget the name of a it. Macaron? Or is but it no, she her macaroons. She's made all kinds of different. Her, her, and my youngest daughter. They, okay, let's, they let's usually get work. But board. yeah, the macaroons is um, yeah for sure. She could do that. Okay, so we cut that all up, and uh, we are just gonna put it. I just want to see if it. We're gonna put garlic, ginger, and no, sorry, that's it. 
That's yeah. gonna go in the oven. Oven? Okay. Yeah. At 250 Fahrenheit? Um, yeah, we're just, you know what, we could even just broil it to kind of speed it up if we want. Oh, broil it's, it? It's just to brown it a bit and cook it so they're not uh, hard when we put okay. them in the, in the pan. Got it. Okay, so some broil. Um, okay, so now while that's uh, roasting, we're going to take a, the saute pan and we're going to heat some sesame seed oil. And we want uh, one tablespoon. And then ginger. There's a lot of recipes that I find are always uh, in vegan recipes. Ginger, <laughs> sesame, sesame oil is one of them. Is that is a lot of the time in uh, vegan recipes. Sesame oil? Sesame oil, ginger, uh, cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon? Uh, maple syrup. Okay. Instead um, of honey, right? Instead of honey, yes. Because honey is not vegan. And cornstarch instead of, a lot of cornstarch. If any thickening and is uh, cornstarch and garlic is usually always in there as well. Okay, so I got some. So that is going to, and then we're going to put. Um, this is about twenty grams of this. Twenty grams of this. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Garlic. Uh, do you know what it is in tablespoon or? Um. Well, it says five cloves, so I think a quarter. Is it a quarter of a teaspoon is one clove? I love garlic, so I usually, honestly, I usually never even measure it. Okay, okay. I love garlic too, and I don't, some people don't like garlic. No, I love it. I measure this, but I think that's the amount. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of it cook. Uh, not too high, because we don't want it to burn. Yeah, that's probably good. Like it sounds like it's sizzling a little high. Okay. Now it's coming down, it sounds like. Okay, so now it's... Now we got two, two tablespoons of... Oh, we're going to do one. We're going to do one tablespoon of uh, ginger. One so that's probably... Probably Can I put good. it in it? Yeah. Okay. So then we got our top of ginger. Love ginger. I feel healthy instantly every time I have ginger. Yes. Yeah, yourself. ginger is in a lot of recipes. Mm -hmm. You put it in your food stirring? Yes. Oh, yeah. I would say that before I probably only ate it with uh, sushi. Oh, the ginger? Yeah. yeah the oh, you ate a pickle. Yeah. Pickles. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna let that. I'm just gonna clean this up for you. And I'm gonna do. Uh, I like. Oh, hello. okay. Let me get yeah. you a new board. Okay. There we go. Clean this for you. And if you're gonna do jalapeno peppers, um, go up and smell it. They say. Uh, to do a glove, <laughs> I never bother, but it does. If you cut, if I was to cut this and then touch my eyes, they would be burning. And the actually, actually, the hot part of the pepper is the uh, seeds. Mm -hmm. So if I leave, if I left all those seeds in. It would be, be very, spicy. very, very spicy. Yeah. I just like a little. And I, probably, I don't think, now I don't find these as hot as other peppers. Is this good, shall we? Yeah, we're going to throw this in there just for a bit. And then our uh, cauliflower should be close to being done. I'm going to put that just there. Just let it bring out the flavor. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah drum. It. It smells so good. Yeah, we'll just 
lettuce. Get in here, it gets, get heated up a little, soften up. Okay. 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 Um, so it's about two minutes. Oh, two minutes? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to make the sauce. So we can probably use this. Is this bowl okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so the sauce is... Uh, We can stir them around. <laughs> yeah, we oh, could just that. stir them around now. The vegetables? Yes. Oh, okay. This is my oven mitt. Oh. Let me take this out. It's so heavy. Okay. And then pop it back in, shall Yes. And then once we make the sauce, we're probably going to be good for ready for uh, Okay. Right, stir it. All right, make the sauce. Okay, so the sauce is two thirds of a cup soy sauce. Uh, mixing two thirds of a cup. Oh, this one here. Okay, I'm just gonna... So two thirds. Yes, it is. Kung Pao cauliflower. Kung Pao cauliflower. And you said it doesn't even taste like meat. I don't. I don't think so. But cauliflower is like that vegetable that's so versatile. It's mm -hmm. used in it is in a lot of things. Like uh, you can mix it with mashed potatoes. So half potato, half cauliflower. So it's less carbs. I've actually seen people put cauliflower on top of like a shepherd's pie. Oh, have I have a that? I have a really good vegan shepherd's pie. Oh, do you? And that you can't tell that it's lentils and not meat. You know, I actually tried vegan cheese before, and I was eating this, and I thought, this is different. <laughs> vegan cheese is a it's whole different. different yes. Yet they have one brand that I've tried that I don't mind, and I believe the name of it is Viola Life. Okay. Viola, Viola. It's not bad. But yeah, cheese is cheese. Cheese is cheese, yeah. That's one of the hardest things. Okay, so we need two tablespoons of the maple syrup. Two tablespoons? And then three tablespoons. I'm going to... I don't have another tablespoon. Um, no, we're not going to... A tablespoon is 15 grams. There so you go. We're going to measure... That's what we do with the measure. And what else, shall we? And that so two tablespoons, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do uh, one and a half tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. One and a half. Yeah, we're gonna do two of that. We're gonna we want to make sure that we got like lots of that. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. What was I supposed to do again? Okay, so now we're doing the uh, one and a half tables. So that one you did two? Yes. Okay, and we're going to do one and a half of the uh, the rice wine. Okay, one and a half vinegar. of the rice wine. Yeah. Okay. And then one and a half of this. One and a half of that. This is, okay, so one and a half tablespoons of... Rice wine. Yeah, and then one and a half of the balsamic. balsamic. Okay. Let's this again. This is just me being lazy to get another tablespoon. Is that good, Shelly? Yep. Looks yeah. good. Now we're going to add it to the peppers. And oh, in the saucepan? In there, right in there, yep. Okay. Is this heat good too? Uh, we could probably turn it up a little now. Okay, didn't want to burn. Yeah, we didn't want to burn the garlic. garlic and that. Yeah. Okay, and then we are going to add 
Uh, in the same bowl in here, we're going to add water. How much water? A third of a cup. So what this is going to do is just give the sauce the oh, thickness, the right? Enough. And we're going to put two tablespoons of the cornstarch. Okay. Let's get a new uh, two tablespoons. One, two. So once we've got it uh, smooth, then we're going to add it to the sauce. Okay. Okay, and I am going to cut some green onion that we're going to put on the top when we eat it. <laughs> yeah, so we might have to turn it up a little bit and okay. keep cutting, uh, keep stirring it, yeah. Oh, I see it already. Okay. Okay, so I'll start, shall we? So if you wanted to just give it a little taste to see if it might be too strong or too, um, if we wanted to add a little bit of water or. Um, I'm good. I think it looks okay. good already. Okay. It's really thick though. Just keep stirring. Um, let's see it. I'm going to just add a little bit of water. Yeah, I, myself, I prefer it not to be as thick, but I just added about a third of a cup. You know, I didn't measure the cornstarch, that's why. <laughs> okay, that's okay. As long as it doesn't taste too cornstarchy. Right, right. What do you think, Jerome? Pretty good. Okay. I love it. Okay, so if it's, that's, to me, that's probably thick enough. Yeah, okay. And, then? and we're going to just move it off, and then we're going to take our vegetables. Sure. So, I definitely cut way too many vegetables, but. Okay, stand back, you guys. Stand back. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to take half of that and put it into here. Okay. I mean, if you... If you cut the cauliflower smaller too, like then it mimics more like the chicken, right? Got it. Okay, is but that enough? We were kind of rushed in a way, kind of. Yeah, we're going to. Um, can I, I use you? this? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, like at home, I can just whatever. I could go yeah. for one to one. Yeah, when you're I could do a load of laundry yeah. in between, right? True, true. So. I just love oh, the smell. Oh, yes. That's what I like. Oh, if you guys can smell this right now, it's so Have you made this for so others, shall we? I have made it for others, and oh. they love it. They, like, that is the best I've ever had. And it's Would like, you put oh, tofu okay. in this one, too? You could. Yeah. Yeah. I would add a firm. But the ingredients for this are pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just... Ingredients, you're right, that we had on hand. Yes. The jalapeno, the ginger. Yeah, the I'm going to, we're actually going to put more in. More of the vegetables. Yeah. Because there seems, like, it, it, there seems to be quite a bit more sauce. So. Yeah. Okay. And then that'll be good. We'll have just, uh, yeah. That's good. Say. Yeah, put, yeah, put everything. Gonna, I'm, <laughs> Jerome, how much, how much I'm just. trying not to burn my hands. <laughs> how hungry is Jerome? Yeah, put everything. Yeah, put everything. Okay. So you can, that actually was that whole cauliflower, right? I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna actually put it just looked like so much. I don't remember. How I don't could remember. You not put in your head. Just She's a mom, mom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Moms have this super human Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't hot. That wasn't hot. No. It was hot. It was hot. So I'm just making sure that it's all coated. Okay. Okay, so now you can get a little, your quarter of a cup of rice to keep all your macros in check, right? My favorite. Unfortunately. Yes. So we made some rice before yeah. the show because rice is for life. Rice is for life. <laughs> you can always measure your rice or weigh your rice. 
That's probably one thing. Um, There's a big with difference. With vegan, you can have, like, more. Like, I find that I'm able to eat more rice than I was before oh, right. because of the macros, right? Right. And you're following the 40, is it 40, 30, 30? I'm doing 40, 30, 30. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, technically, this is for two. That's so, for two yeah. Well, there's three of us, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, I've had it. So I am going to put some. Oh, yeah. 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 Do it over the rice. Look at that, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're almost. I'll give you some more sauce. Okay, so Shelly, how much weight have you lost since January when you've done your oh. lifestyle change? Because. It's oh, been, what, five I, months now? I, yeah, 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 I would have to check, but you look great. I, uh, it's, I feel more to my body, t my body, um, makeup. Does Got that, it. yeah. You feel like you're at how your body was designed. Mm -hmm. for. I think, yeah, that's probably a really good way to say it. I just, yeah. And the, you can't have this without, without the, cashews. the cashews. Not so, the same without cashews. And it has to be cashews. So you can see here we probably could have thickened up the sauce a little bit oh, more. Right, right, yeah. That's, yeah. But if you like the sauce, like. I like sauce. Yeah. Jerome, do you like sauce? I love the sauce. Yeah. I'd rather have more sauce than not enough sauce. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is, with if you if this was something that you really, really liked, you could mm. cut out other things and put more rice you got or it, so more, right more sauce more rice. okay there you go okay so let's bring this to so the hopefully table. let's show okay let's do a quick recap shall we okay and then actually after all this is said and done i have another shake oh, another when shake. i'm done my meals. So you have two shakes in a day. I have two in a day, yeah. And the one of the reasons why I do the shake um, for the end of the day is that I find that it helps to get you through until, for me, till noon. Okay. Otherwise, uh, there and there is, there is times that I wake up in the morning and I am hungry, mm -hmm. but I think it's because if I didn't have that shake in my meal plan, <laughs> very good. I'm just I'm thinking about it, right? It tastes like cauliflower though. <laughs> it does taste like cauliflower, but it tastes good. The sauce, I really like the sauce. Yeah. It tastes like it's like I'm eating takeout food, right? Right. At a restaurant. So I, I like that. It doesn't I... taste like it's vegan or healthy. Right. It tastes like it's an actual meal. Yeah, I think if you were to, like, if, if someone was to go and put that up in front of you when you were eating, I think, um, I don't if someone put that in front of me and I, when I was just at a, say I was at a restaurant and they just said, this is what we're making for you, I would be in heaven mm -hmm. when I'm eating that the ginger, myself. The ginger and soy. Yeah. Okay, so just a quick recap. Your first meal would be a shake and then you'd also have this large bowl of oatmeal. Oh my goodness. This I is know. Heaven. Second meal would be... Your salad with your tempeh and broccoli with a dipping sauce. And this right. is for two people, by the way. Right. Third meal would be your Kung Pao cauliflower with some rice. Mm -hmm. And then another shake as a snack or a kind of dessert, whatever. End know. of the day End eating. End of day eating. Yeah. And this is all, how many calories, how many That's about protein? That's about 1240, I believe. Oh, 1240 yeah. calories. Yeah. Okay. Well, awesome. I've learned yeah. so much from you, Shelly. Thank, Thank you, you again for coming on the show and teaching us your vegan meals. Uh, I've learned a lot, actually. I think I want to make all of these. Mm -hmm. and they all seem really simple, actually. It didn't seem complicated. The, it's kind of complicated today because we're looking at a recipe, but when mm -hmm. when you've done it once and then you go and do it again, like how easy is that? This was so easy. Yeah. The raisins. That's yeah. a nice tip. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so yes. much, Shelly. <laughs> Thanks for having me again. Yes. yes. Thanks, guys, awesome. for tuning in. And I hope you guys learned a lot. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.